Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at six different styles of logos that you can create in Midjourney and the prompts that you need to use to make them. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So we're going to start with our first logo style. So we're going to say forward slash imagine and we're going to say a, um, let's say a logo for a juice company minimalist and modern and so we get some clean and simple results for this and so what I do for this is just replace juice company with you know whatever the example is so let's drive into our second example we're gonna say forward slash imagine and we're gonna say a bear mascot logo and we're gonna also say NFL okay so you can see we get some really cool results here um, these are great for mascots for teams um, for gaming channels anything like that you can get some really cool results with that um, mascot example so next we're gonna do a um, animated mechanic character and this would be character logo sorry so this is gonna be great for um, just anything where you want to have a visual of like a person working on something and here we can see our mechanic characters that Midjourney created um, really interesting results here some of these are a little odd with the eyeballs here but some some great very usable results so let's dive into a couple more examples so this time we're gonna try forward slash imagine um, you can also do letter mark logo so we're gonna say a letter a letter mark logo and I recommend um, only doing one letter seems to work best with Midjourney right now but hopefully over time more letters are gonna work as well so here you can see we've got some decorative really cool versions of the letter A and um, those are some some really nice options to use so we've got a couple more examples we're gonna do um, next we're gonna say a line art record store logo and we're gonna say stencil so here we can see we got some really cool um, line art logo styles and uh, these are really cool I really like these and just keep in mind you know if you have a different business or a different idea you just just replace record store with um, whatever the concept is that you're trying to work on so we're gonna do one last example and this is a retro gas station logo and I really like the retro um, results that Midjourney has come up with in the past awesome these are some really really cool results for this last one I really like this one down here in the corner um, so yeah this is just a quick demo of we had six different versions of logo styles and designs that you can use so if you're working on logos in Midjourney this is um, just kind of a quick little style and prompt guide that you can use to come up with something that's in the style of what you're looking for and of course you know if you add more detail you're gonna get even closer results to what you're looking to, looking for but um, I found that with Midjourney a lot of times you really don't have to say too much to get some great results as we could see in these examples here thank you so much for checking out today's video I really hope that you found it helpful and if you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more AI art content coming out soon. I'll see you in the next video.